What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about Bungie's weekly update from last night. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out. And if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Bungie's weekly update last night had some interesting things included. I will link it within the video description if you do want to check it out. It's definitely worth your time um, taking a look at. Uh, but the main thing I want to talk about is the actual plan going forward with Destiny 2 in terms of what's coming. And there's some exciting times ahead, guys. There seriously is. Now, today is Friday. You probably, like me, were excited to see if Zer came. Zer isn't coming this week. He's coming next week. But we'll get onto that in a quick second. Okay, so launch week, which is this week, as you can see on screen now, we've got the Nightfall, which is the arms dealer, and we've got the Flashpoint, which is on the EDZ. Week two, which is next week, starting from Tuesday, the Nightfall next week will be the Inverted Spire. The Nightfall Guided Games beta begins. The Flashpoint will be on Nessus. The Raid comes on Wednesday. The Leviathan Raid, cannot wait for that. And then Friday, we have Trials of the Nine. Countdown on Eternity and the return of Zer with a selection of exotics, which is going to be great. Remember, guys, Zer will be selling these exotics for legendary shards, so you want to grind and get as many legendary shards in time for next Friday, that being the 15th of September. So, yes, guys, get grinding. Week 3, the Nightfall will be Exodus Crash, Flashpoint will be on IO. A game Friday will be Trials of Nine, Survival on Altar of Flame, which will be a different game mode to the first Trials event coming this Friday. And Zer again will return with a selection of exotics. Oh, I cannot wait. Exciting times ahead, guys. Seriously is. Now, week four, the Nightfall will be the Pyramidian. Flashpoint will be on Titan. The Leviathan Raid Guided Games beta begins, which is going to be great. Then we have Faction Rally begins. I wonder what this is going to be. I do believe this faction rally will be some kind of faction event. It's got to be. It just makes sense. Faction rally. Now, in case you actually haven't noticed, within the new tower space, there's actually a room for future walkout, a little space for new monarchy, and actually a little space for dead orbit, which not many people know about. And you can actually activate a PC here, which tells you a little bit about them. So yes, check that out yourselves. This terminal looks like it's in use as a forum for dead orbit folks. About what you'd expect. Lots of pictures of people wearing black and nihilistic poetry. That Friday, again, we'll have the Trials of Nine, Survival and Empire's Respite, and then Zer returns again with a selection of exotics. I'm actually curious to see what exotics and what kind of exotics Zer brings. Do you think he'll bring ornaments like he did in the first game? Who knows? It goes on to say, in October, new challenges will continue to arrive, including Iron Banner and new ways to have your prestige tested in the raid. So there's just so, so much things to look forward to, guys. And it's times like these that really excite me. They seriously do. The Iron Banner, the raid, Faction Rally, Zer, new Flashpoint locations, and much, much more. Great, great times ahead, guys. Seriously are. But yeah, guys, there are more things within the weekly update. If you do want to check it out, like I said, it will be linked within the video description. Tell me what you think about what I've covered in today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. It really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. Always in the